So hello class, today we're going to be learning about the Lung Lobo, which is this model right here, and hopefully it can help you for your practical. So we're going to start with right over here, we have the bronchial, and then we have the terminal bronchioles and respiratory bronchioles. So right over here where the bronchial is, we have this green area, which is known as the um, bronchial mucus duct and it's going to help prevent any dust particles from entering into the arterial. And then I just want to point out that right over here we have smooth muscle and this is the pulmonary plexus. So it's just gonna help constrict um, air passageway. Now we're going to get into talking about the difference between the pulmonary, um, the alveoli, the alveolar sac and the alveolar ducts. So we're gonna turn this right over here and right over here, these are the alveolars. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the alveolar sacs and connecting the alveolar sacs, we have the pulmonary ducts. So I just want to point out that inside the pulmonary, um, inside of the pulmonary sacs, we have the smooth muscle right over here. And um, we're going to explain the reason of what it does. So I just want to show you that right over here, we have the elastic fibers and over here, the smooth muscle and what te we're technically trying to do is we're trying to increase surface area so we're going to have lots of alveolar alveolar with lots of surface area in their sacs and we want them to be able to recoil after we inflate them with air coming through the alveolar ducts so each of them are covered by these elastic fibers that are represented on by the black on the model and it helps squeeze and recoil after being inflated. So inside, um, inside each of the alveolar membranes, now we have the smooth muscle, which helps with contracting and then recoiling with the elastics. So we're going to be able to expand and contract with the combination of the elastic fibers and the smooth muscle. So inside the alveolar sac walls. So then now we're going to be looking at the, me the membrane. So this right here is considered the epithelium. This right over here is considered the pulmonary pleura. And really quick, I just want to point out this, which this is just transparent um, alveolar. And now we're gonna get into the blood supply of the lung lobe. So right over here, we have what is the pulmonary artery. And the pulmonary artery is this color, this dark color, because it's deoxygenated blood. So it is blood that's coming from the heart, so away from the heart, meaning that it's deoxygenated, and it's gonna be going into the capillaries, which are these red little, right over here, and it's going to be from the artery to the capillary by these arterioles the pulmonary arterioles. So the reason that the capillaries are red and instead compared to the arterioles and the artery is because they are oxygenated. So in the, they're oxygenated. So this is where, so this is where the gas exchange occurs in the capillary beds. And then after they're going to leave the vessel by and go all the way to the pulmonary veins by these venules, the pulmonary venules and it's gonna be oxygenated blood and it's going to leave the vessel right through there. So now we're going to turn around and show you technically the middle of the lung lobar because this is all one full, but this cut in half. So right over here, I'm gonna show you the pulmonary artery from the back and then the pulmonary vein. And this right here, number two shown here is a non-cartilaginous bronchial, which then um, goes to be the respiratory bronchioles and number four shows the arterioles and right here this is a deep network and that's about it on this model um, now we're going to show you a different model which explains the different layers so right over here we have the visceral um, pleura then we have the pleural cavity and then we have the pulm we have the pleural the pulmonary cavity that's between the visceral and the pulmonary pleura and that's about it i hope you guys um learn all this correctly and i hope to help you have passed your test